Here's a video for you. It's story time, baby. Come closer if you wanna hear. So because of all this quarantining happening right now, all of us aren't able to go on vacation. But since at this time it's July and it's about to go in August, in regular years, many people would go on vacation right now. But since, as I said before, the quarantine has overtaken the whole world, none of us can go on vacation. So I thought maybe this would be a good time to talk about some of my stories when I was on vacation in 2018. I mean, I could choose any year, but 2018 had some pretty interesting stories. And so before I get started with the travel stuff, I just wanted to say something. So I'm not really sure how many people go on vacation, but for, for my parents and I, we, we do something a bit differently. So instead of just me and my parents going somewhere, we usually tend to stick in groups. And the group consists of my friends, my family and I and their friends and a bunch of people that I have no idea who they are, but still go with them. And so in 2018, the group and I decided that we were going to Mexico because Mexico is a good place to go on vacation with. So yeah, obviously we went to the airport, we took a plane and in Mexico we were in. Now the resort that we booked for had three hotels. The first hotel was a low class one. So I'm not sure what the name was, but it was a low class hotel. So basically it was just like um, a suitable hotel. And the second hotel was the suites. So basically the rooms were a bit bigger and the pools and any outdoor stuff had better quality. And then the third one was the master beds. And obviously the master beds was where the real stuff and the real nice good things happened. Now for the master beds, I wasn't able to go there because they only allowed people over 18 and during that time I wasn't 18 so I couldn't go but I think I went there once and I think there was like a huge like chandelier on top it was really nice or maybe there was no chandelier at all because I don't know something's wrong with my mind but most of my groups intended to go to the suites now my group had booked a section of the hotel for our group to be in Except for when we came there to register in, their system, like in the computer system, didn't show our group. And so because it didn't show our group, that means all of the rooms that we wanted to book were now occupied from like anyone else who wanted to be in the hotel. And so there were still a few rooms, except for there were some in the master bedroom, some in the suites, and some in the low class. So obviously, whoever was over 18 went to those, went to the master bed. I think it was like two or three people. Some of us went to the suites, and for me, I had to be in the low class, which is like, I mean, it's not bad, but at the same time, it would be nice to have some quality, good stuff, and maybe a little bit more room, but at the same time, I had no choice. Now, for some people, they had even worse. Some people had to sleep in the lounge, while others had to be in other hotels to sleep in that night. And one of my friends had to go to another hotel, and I just feel really bad for my friend. Now, obviously, because of the present, it doesn't really matter anymore. But at that time, it was it was pretty harsh. And so, for my room, how do you, I I don't know how to put this. It wasn't like it's under reservation renovation. I don't if that the real word, but they wouldn't recommend 
you to be in that room because my room they didn't check if it was clean or if there were rats in it or if the um air conditioning was working but at the same time we had no choice so we took it anyways and so for the first two nights we were in that room and then the third night we were switched to another room but still in a low class and it was a room like any other room so there so the air conditioning was good it was clean and there were no rats now for most of my friends including the one who had to leave the hotel were all in the suites so the only person that wasn't in the suites in my like my friend group was me but you know that was okay because i could hang out with them at the beach i i wasn't too sure if if like i broke the rules but apparently you're not supposed to be in the other pools of other hotels. I didn't know, okay? But to me, they all look the same. So I was like, okay, that pool looks like it was from my area. So why not swim in it? I mean, no one stopped me. But at the same time, I, I didn't know it was not good to do that. So one time, my friends and I were just hanging out in the suites area pool. And you know, we're all having a good time and all. And then at that time, it was about for lunch. So we all said goodbye and all. And I went back to my room. Except for when I went back to my room and I knocked on the door, my parents didn't answer. So I was like, all right, I'll, I'll just wait maybe. So maybe like two minutes come by, I knock on the door again. They're still not there. So now, I was thinking, okay, maybe they went back to the room that was under renovation. So the one that has broken air conditioning, maybe there were rats and not the, and it was dirty. And so I went back to the original room that I was in. I knocked on the door and no one answered. So I was okay. I, w I was getting a bit worried. And one of the maids in the hotel saw me getting worried and was like, are you okay? I was like, no, I, d I don't know where my parents are. And so they took me to the reporter office thing where there was a lady. And so I went to the room and the lady was like, oh, what can I help you with? And I say, I can't find my parents. And they say, well, do you remember your room? And I said, yes, I do. I checked both of them and they weren't there. And so they were like, okay, do you know their names? I was like, yeah, I, I know their names. And so I told the lady my parents' names, and we went to the register desk, and we're like, okay, so are these two people in the system? And they're like, not really. And so one of my parents' friends were, in, were near to the register desk, and they saw me worried, and they were like, oh, um, excuse me, sorry to intrude, but I know where her parents are. And so I was like, oh my gosh, thank God. So it turns out that they were actually moving to the suite hotel, except for they didn't tell me. Instead, they were just like, once they got the message of like, here, there's a room in the suites that that's available, they just went straight onto it. They didn't even tell me. But I don't really blame them. Because when they were moving, I was still with my friends, so either way, they couldn't tell me. And so, my parents' friend and I, and some other people, went to the suite area, and there I saw my mom. I was like, Mom! Yay! I found you! And I started hugging her because I missed her so much, and I thought, you know, they left me, and I was all alone. But no, they were in the suite area. And so my father was in there, so I was like, Mom, where's father? And she's like, oof, oh, that's, that sucks. Because father is trying to find you right now, because father thinks that I, were, I was in the low-class hotel, when clearly I'm in the sweet hotel. So, oof. So like 15 minutes went by, and my father comes back to the sweet hotel, and once he sees me, he's like, yeah, okay. And then after he goes to like a couch nearby and just relax. Like seriously, he was sweating like thunderstorms. He was super, super sweaty. But at least I got to find my parents and I wasn't lost anymore. 
And so they showed me their room in the suite hotel. And I was like, yeah, this is a good place to be in. But overall, it was really, really scary at that time because I had no idea where my parents are. And you might be thinking like, hey, why didn't your parents just tell you or something like that? So, and as I said before, I was just my friend, except for my, my father wasn't expecting me to end my, my little friend group party at, at that early. And so, at the start, my father went to the pool where I was originally and asked my friends, Hey, where's, uh, where's, what is, uh? And they're like, Oh, she just left, um, a minute ago. And so my father kept searching for me and searching for me. And when he came back to the sweet register desk, he found me. And <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my story. So there's like a little bit drama going on. I, went, I, I don't really know if it's a drama, but it was pretty scary at that time. But after all of that, we were having a great vacation week. And also because all of my friends were at the suite and I was now at the suite. And then we could all just hang out in the same pool instead of me just saying like, okay, we'll be at this pool and then after when we leave, I have to go to my low class hotel. But now we can all just come to the hotel back together yay so i hope y'all enjoy this video and my story if you do please whip that like button and whip that subscribe button if you already haven't and bye 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 I also want to thank my mom's friend for helping me back there.